The Fourth Monday in Lent, Christ Asleep in the Storm by St. Augustine This sleep of Christ is the sign of a high mystery. The sailors are the souls passing over the world in wood. That ship also was a figure of the church, and all are individually indeed are temples of God, and his own heart is the vessel in which each sails, nor can he suffer shipwreck if his thoughts are only good. Thou hast heard an insult, it is the wind. Thou art angry, it is a wave. When therefore the wind blows and the wave swells, the ship is endangered, the heart is in jeopardy, the heart is tossed to and fro. When thou hast heard an insult, thou longest to be avenged, and lo, avenged thou hast been, and so rejoicing in another's harm, thou hast suffered shipwreck. And why is this? Because Christ is asleep in thee. What does this mean, Christ is asleep in thee? Thou hast forgotten Christ. Rouse him up then, call Christ to mind, let Christ awake in thee, give heed to him. What dost thou wish, to be avenged? Hast thou forgotten that when he was being crucified he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do? He who was asleep in thy heart did not wish to be avenged. Awake him up then, call him to remembrance. The remembrance of him is his command. And then wilt thou say if Christ be awake in thee, What manner of man am I who wish to be avenged? Who am I who deal out threatenings against other men? I may die perhaps before I am avenged, and when at my last breath, inflamed with rage and thirsting for vengeance, I shall depart out of this body. He will not receive me who did not wish to be avenged. He will not receive me who said, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Forgive, and it shall be forgiven you. Therefore will I refrain myself from my wrath and return to the repose of my heart. Christ hath commanded the sea, tranquility is restored. Now, what I have said is to anger, hold fast as a rule in all your temptations. A temptation has sprung up, it is the wind. Thou art disturbed, it is a wave. Awake up Christ then, let him speak with thee. Who is this, since the winds and the sea obey him? Who is this, whom the sea obeyeth? The sea is his, and he made it. All things were made by him. Imitate the winds then, and the sea rather, obey the Creator. At Christ's command the sea giveth ear, and art thou deaf? The sea heareth, and the wind ceaseth, and dost thou still blow on? What? I say, I do, I devise. What is all this but to be blowing on, and to be unwilling to stop in obedience to the word of Christ? Let not the wave master you in this troubled state of your heart. Yet since we are but men, if the wind should drive us on and stir up the affections of our souls, let us not despair. Let us await Christ that we may sail on a tranquil sea and so come to our country.